Welcome wrestling fans, Don Demant, Nicholas H here at Underground Wrestling, and uh, a true veteran of the Chicago independent scene, the one and only delicious Danny Scott. Thanks a lot for coming on the show. No problem. And uh, my goodness, it's been a long time you've been in this thing. Well, uh, this is officially my eighth year. I took seven years off, yeah. so, but I started in 2000, so yeah. it's been 15 years overall. PCW. PCW, Dream Night. Yes. Uh, that's where I really got my start. Yeah. Yes. So, um, yeah, it's been a long time ago. Yes, um, anywhere from PCW and then uh, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the worst. I know, right? <laughs> Fans, you can't see this, but you know, we have jokesters all around here, so. But, you know, after PCW, you uh, started up with uh, MSPW. Well, before that, we were traveling everywhere. We yes. were doing uh, uh, Midwest uh, Championship Wrestling. With uh, Brian Zenner. Brian Zenner. Hi, Brian. <laughs> uh, we did that, um, and then when his stuff kind of came to a halt, then I was like, I, I was like, man, we need something else in this area. Oh, they so had the, girl the opportunity the came to start uh, MSPW. Yeah. And I ran with it. Um, the shows in Cole City were they're a lot of fun, awesome. A lot of I mean, we packed a place. We, we ran a lot of different venues. We ran uh, outdoor volleyball courts, skating rinks. Yeah. Um, Skates West. Skate West. <laughs> yeah. It's so uh, it was really interesting. It was a really interesting time. It took a lot out of me. <laughs> so when I got out in 2007, I was like, I'm done. Yeah. Um, it was weird because I really. Um, didn't keep up with anybody, any of my wrestling yeah. friends or anything like that. I was, I didn't talk to anybody. I didn't watch TV, nothing. So I basically went wrestling free for about seven years or so. Well, what decided to bring you to underground? Mike Matthews is a jerk. Uh, he showed up at a gym that I was working at and uh, started chatting me up about wrestling and stuff. And and I was like, well, do you miss it? And he's like, oh, I still do it. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, really? And he's like, yeah, it's my 12th year. I'm like, dude, all right. And he left, and for three weeks, all I like to think about was wrestling. Wow. Was like, so Matt, Mike Matthews planted the seed. He's a bad guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so for three weeks, yeah, I, I thought about wrestling, and he came back into the gym. I hadn't seen him in three weeks, and I was like, you know, when are you guys, yeah. when's training? I go, I'm going to come up and bump around a little bit. Went back in, bumped around for about half an hour. Like, all right, I'm back. And yeah, I'm you're back. Um, I don't have time to tour anymore or, or, or you know, to... So are you considering underground your home? This is it, yeah. yeah. I, I don't have time. I got kids now. Right. I have two kids. Um, I have my kids all the time. So they don't get a break. So uh, one Saturday is a month. About all I can afford to do right, right now. Well, you do a lot of personal training too now, right? Right, right. right. Personal right. training. Yeah. So between running my own business, kids, it's a lot of time. You know? So, so uh, well, obviously, you know, you're seeing a lot of new blood, mm -hmm. you know, through the ranks and all that. I mean, well. What do you think about some of the new guys that are, you know, under Chicago scene now? Um, I can only speak about here uh, uh -huh. at Underground, but um, it's totally different than when I was here, uh, than when I was in the business years ago. Um, the kids now have a lot more respect, it feels like. Yeah. Especially here. Um, I have so many stories, like back in the day, like some kid would just like mouth off and like not take advice, and right. you know, and now it's like they're like, hey, just watch it. What do you think? You know, it was good. Blah blah. You know no egos here at all like, it's great like it's it's totally different like it's been a year of like no egos oh my goodness it's amazing <laughs> it, 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 isn't it amazing on how egos could like uh you know really tear a locker mm -hmm. room apart mm -hmm. yeah. you know yeah. and nobody I've wants seen to listen it, i saw it twice yeah. Yeah. you know and for the yeah. second time i was like <laughs> yeah but it. yeah <laughs> it's um yeah it's, it's it's totally different i love it like, that's <laughs> the only reason i'm able to do it is because there's no politics nothing it's like, have fun it's a good time no now uh, you've been having a lot of run-ins with Mojo McQueen, right? right you know, right, uh, your right. uh, it says you know Mike Matthew, GPA. You know, the list goes on and on. I mean, I, what are you bring? Are you bringing something to the table, uh, like, or I should say, you bringing something into the ring that, like, from your past, where it's helping you, you know, gain that uh, momentum to I'm, grab the title. I'm older now. Um, I think more. Yeah. Uh, I don't worry about doing like a ton of spots. I mean, I never really did, but right, right now I feel like I'm more I'm more focused on um, making it, making the product look good. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like the matches I've had the last year the best matches I've ever had in my career. Um, yeah. I was just the Tazzy wrestling was great. You know, my partner was fun. Um, it just didn't allow me the personal freedom right. I needed uh, to, to express my myself and my character and, and get and. and just kind of 
show what I could really do. Right. Uh, which now I'm getting a chance to do that. You know, when I when I left, um, I, well, I was in terrible shape and I left with tons of injuries. And I'm still banged up right now, but um, I couldn't keep in shape. I could I get blown up right away, which is it was terrible. Um, and, I, and like, <laughs> for example, we did a Portugal trip, yeah. you know, in 2007, and got back from it. And I had three weeks of jet lag where I could not like recover. Like, wow. I, I was exhausted for three weeks, um, and that really sent me in a downward spiral to the last five months that wrestled. Uh, but now it's totally different. Like, I, I got more time to kind of recoup. I mean, I, there's no way even if I was had the time. I don't think I can be doing this every week anymore. There's just, I just my body not, can't take no, it anymore. No, no, <laughs> I, I know we, you know. Father Time creeps up on all of us. And some of these are kinder to than others, but you know. <laughs> well, are you having more fun now? Oh God, yeah, yeah. No. Like it's 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 more fun. You know, you don't like back in the day. Like, hey, I can't go out to dinner after the show. You'd have to eat with the boys because you put me out with them. Yeah. Well, like now it's like, yeah, you know, whatever. You just I, I come to wrestle. I talk to people. You know, I'm friends mm -hmm. with people here. Uh, but it's it's yeah. so laid back that I'm having a way better time. Right. And if like wrestling was always like this. Wait, you know? uh, I know. I, is, I think a lot of what us it should be, doing, be you know? doing a lot more. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Actually, you know, quick thing. Um, out of the past, what was one of your funnest matches that you, you know, you've been involved with? Uh, since the reboot or since back in the day? Oh, uh, whatever. I mean, uh, I know. Well, I know. Back in the day, uh, PCW, you took one hellacious of a leg drop. Oh, from uh, Chili Willy. Chili Willy. Yeah. Yeah. You know. That one was actually fun. Uh, he beat me up good, but it was good. Um, our stuff with the SATs we did. Yeah. Uh, me and uh, Bailey did um, was uh, all three matches were fun. Um, I've got good memories from all three, including you know the fans going to win the chairs where we were laying there, um, to the uh, Bailey going down the stairs on the like, like a slide <laughs> on the table. Uh, that stuff was all fun. Um, and then I had a really good match back in 2007 with uh, Mike Flannery, who was one of the ones I was really happy with. Right. Um, there was a lot of like stuff in between there. I don't yeah. remember so much. No, I know. Like, How <laughs> so, about now? I mean, are, are you I having mean, a lot more fun I've been in happy the ring? With, like, I don't think there's one time I walked out of the ring where I was like, yeah, yeah, that was that was good. I mean, it hasn't been one time where I was like, oh, it sucked. Uh, I've had fun. Like it's been fun. Like all the matches have been pretty decent. Like I'm not too my own horn, but everything's felt good. You know, and that's what counts. That's what makes you want to keep doing it. Yeah. Because you're having yeah, yeah, the fun I'm, at it. I'm having fun telling stories. Um, yeah. And which I never felt like I was telling stories before. I always right. felt like you know, okay, tomorrow we got to be here. We're doing this, and, and then trying to book my own promotion and everything like that. Uh, kind of the fun went out of it for me from about 2002 to 2007. Like, I, I just right. I didn't enjoy myself for I've been like five years. Uh, other than like Portugal, that was fun. But um, like during that time, I wasn't really having fun. Um, it was more work than anything. I was, I was stressed. I was, you know, I got divorced during that time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> but um, been there, done that. There's no like, there's no, there's no stress. No, you know, that's it's just, good. It's, it's I mean, it it, it it's makes fun. you actually without the stress. You know, you can focus on. You know your matches right. and your opponents and things like that, uh, and just like says more or less. Uh, I mean, what's on the horizon for you know Danny Scott? You want to try to grab that underground title? I want that or? belt. I no. think I've earned that belt. Um, I think I would be a good champion for the company. Um, I don't know how much time I got left. I'll be honest. Uh, it's starting to get a little harder to get out of bed today after matches now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. In, in my 40s now is not like when I was in my 20s. I started late as it was. Uh, oh, yeah. But now I'm super old for a wrestler, so um, I'm having fun, and then just you know we'll see how it goes in the next year or so. Um, I, I got a couple guys I still want to I still want to work. I want to beat the shit out of Mike Matthews if I can. Um, yeah, I mean I'm sure attention. It, it is, no. it, it, I'm sure to happen. No. Yeah, I, I'm sure anyway, to happen. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, there's still, still some guys I want I want to do some stories I want to tell. Yeah. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe another year, year and a half, something like that. If, if there was a piece of advice that you you know that you try to give the younger guys and all that you know what is it uh listen um listen and find a good trainer like uh like jesus bryce find somebody like that to train you um find somebody who's reputable um I'll tell you what if you show up and the guy training is not in shape don't go train with him but listen to what all the vets have to say ask people to watch the matches yeah um and just learn you know get as much time on the road and, uh, as you can do you, do you think that some of the matches nowadays lack the storytelling? They all do. Um, and, and part of the fact is they only have like seven, eight minutes to tell the story. Right. Um, one of the reasons I don't watch, and I don't watch any wrestling anymore outside of like occasional uh, stuff overseas or, or NXT, um, I really don't watch anything because it's all gap, 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 gap. There's no, you know, there's no storytelling in the ring. Right. Um, it's, it's high spot. 
high spot, high spot, high spot. Um, it's a story like this, you know? The, the matches I have watched like recently are all stuff from like the 80s. Like, yeah, stuff, right. stuff from the off, things like that. Uh, that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't really... Uh, no, I just it's, How are you? It's, it's, Good. there's there's something yeah, lacking now in the product. Um, and no, I, well, I went to the doctor. It needs to come down a notch, I think, and they need to let the guys make matches rather than you know have Triple H make your match or something like that. Uh, right. But, you know, I mean, that sort of thing. Like, it's well, I think well back in the day, you know, you got your you know, like your bullet points. Okay, put this over, put that over. Right. You guys work the feud. Uh, we want. We right. want a year run yep. with you guys, yep. 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 you know, and then you guys take the ball and run with it, you That's, know. And, it's, and there's kind of that creativity missing, it feels like. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, there's just, there's just nothing out there that really, when when Brock was killing people and I heard about it, I was like, oh, that seems interesting, you know, I'd watch that and then they screwed that up and I'm like, you know, I just don't, I don't know, like, it's just, there's just nothing out there that really excites me to watch anymore, so I really feel like there's there's something missing from the business, like, you know, in the independent scene, and I can't really speak that way, they don't know anybody outside of here. <laughs> like, right, I don't, I don't, well, no, and, and you know what, you, you've got a good home, like you said, with Jesus Christ as a trainer, and, you know, the guys, you have a great mix of uh, vets along with new talent that's coming up. Because you know we can't do this forever. <laughs> yeah, you know. Granted, sometimes we'd love to, uh, wish we could, but uh, you know we're here at Underground. I'm glad that uh, you know the locker room is the way it is because you know how the ego check. You know, you check your ego at the door. You know. And uh, it's a, it's a good yeah, environment. Yeah, so, yeah, everybody, this should be a place everybody wants to go work. Right. And the, the crowds are small, but great. Yeah. Where I'm no, going the building's always full. So, I mean, and good. that's what counts, you know, and so forth. Well, I tell you what, fans, you know, it's almost showtime here at Underground Wrestling. Delicious Danny Scott, it's in, uh, in action to begin with. And, you know, just recently, you know, not too long ago, Danny Scott was in uh, action here on the show. We're going to see a little bit more of them, and you know, you never know. We've got a little bit of time. I might just throw a little old stuff in there. Again, thank you very thank much you. for coming on to the show. Thank Good you. luck tonight. And fans, to the ring we go. I guess we're underway, Mr. Cervantes. Is, GPA has had enough of Danny Scott's talking, and they're going at it on the floor. And GPA, I have not seen this kind of anger on his face before. Man, what a surprise start to this matchup. Forget about formal, formal treatment. Oh, just forehead first onto that ring, that guardrail. And the GPA won the fans over that gutsy performance earlier. And Danny Scott has done nothing but enrage the people. 
Yeah. I apologize. These guys caught me off guard. I meant formalities. Oh, wow. This is turning into a brawl. Not, not necessarily the way you want to go into your second round match, but hey, it's, it's up to them, and this is how they're going to do it. So we may end up going all over the arena in this one. You'll notice the time limit increases in this round to 30 minutes, and so does the level of difficulty. And not that GPA needs any extra added advantage, but he does have an advantage, not only in the youth, but he was the first person to wrestle tonight, so he's had the longest rest period. Certainly the case, and Danny Scott, you know, a, seems to have the mental edge going into this. He's under the skin of GPA, and he knows that he's beaten this man before. But I, I, on the other end of things, GPA, you know what kind of fire that's got a light under him. Definitely, to, he to needs no Scott, motivation. To be aware of the, those facts, but then to have Danny Scott rub your face, and he got drop kicked off the apron, and he landed back first on the edge of the ring. My I think Andy God. Long needs to go out there and check on him. And after he took that German suplex in the first round, yeah. and DDS just elbowing him right across the back of the neck. GPA match officially getting underway wow. now, but it, the match finally starts. So now they have 30 minutes to beat the hell out of each other if they can last that long. Yeah, with the way that those first round matches went, there is no way. They're going to come anywhere <laughs> close to that with the amount of moves that they've taken already. Just chokes GPA and that pain etched all over GPA's face. Nothing pretty about this match either because of the feud between these two. Yeah, a lot of big rivalry, bitter, bitter hatred between these two men. These guys are hardly wrestling as he shoots them off the ropes. And close lines up in the center of the ring. They're That's fighting. That Larian. One, two, oh, only a one count. Like we said earlier, DDS knows this may be his last run at a championship in pro wrestling. And he will do whatever he has to, anything and everything, to get his hands on that championship gold and carry the banner of underground wrestling. Although, let's be real with ourselves, he's doing it for himself, yeah, he's not for the promotion. The of yeah, he's not interested in the company. He'll take every title he Choking can get. GPA. Choking the hell out of GPA right now. Wow. Bitter rivals. And, and with so much at stake right now. This GPA. GPA is not done yet, though. Oh. There, gets him on that one. He trains as hard as he studies. Oh, and the answer's back with a knife edge of his own. And another with the left. And with the right. GPA really needs to string together some offense. And some big time offense because chops, they hurt, but they only do so much damage. They're not going to win you a match. And right now, DDS in firmly in control. It's manipulating the man, clutch. stretching him a little bit. Dragon, okay, sleeper. dragon sleeper. Deep, deep dragon sleeper. Seen a wide variety of submissions used by him previously, busting out that Kimura in the previous round to get the win. Yeah, he's bringing every tool, everything from his playbook tonight. Oh, cover! By GPA, trying to put a lot of pressure down on Scott, but Scott Gator rolls him over. Wow. Two count for Scott. Nothing pretty about this, just punishment and going for the win. Choking GPA. Taking every precious second before the referee can get to five and disqualify him. Because no matter which man wins, you have to win three matches tonight to be the champion. You don't want to spend too much time in that ring if you don't have to. That, that could cost him right there. On a roll up, one, two, oh, man. Had him in that yeah, could have had him. Had him with the honor roll right there. Sleeper. Danny Scott, that's what he does so well. Simple, effective maneuvers. Yes. He can put a man down, and he's got that sleeper locked in. GPA can see the frantic movements in his arm. He knows he's got to find a way out. Referee drops that arm. He's done. Andy Long doing a great job of checking on the man, making sure he's still with it, still conscious, still able to compete. And J GPA is fighting. He's hanging in there. Trying to find a way to his feet, and he does. Got one leg up, alleviating a bit of the pressure. You can see the elbow loosening. Not as tight around the throat as it was. Trying to turn There we go. Beautifully done. Finds oh. his way into the cramp section. Wow. Beautiful. Out of nowhere. 
The chin of DDS has been checked and both men are down. Excellent counter, excellent counter. Exactly what he needed to change the momentum of this match. Because he was getting it handed to him right there for a moment. The crowd showing their support for GPA. Both men trying to get to their feet. GPA got to keep the momentum rolling. Forearm. Met with the forearm. Answers back. He's, GPA may not want to exchange with Danny Scott. Might not be his best strategy for him. But he answers back with a huge chop. Wow, oh, what he's a on He's on fire. There's that second win. That passion from GPA. The desire to hold yet again. not only the college championship, but the underground wrestling championship. Both men, opposite corners, he charges. Backsplash. All the way crushing into DDS. Coming right back for him. Hooks him. Snap. Beautiful. Center Center ring. Over. Cover over. One, one, two. two. And oh, only two. And, and you know, we've seen these two wrestle so many times, but not under these circumstances. They yeah. both just had a hard first round match against great opponents. And with the stakes being so high, yeah, we're going to see which man is able to rise to the occasion when the lights are bright and the pressure wow. is on. Delicious driver. Delicious driver. No. Perhaps crucifix? No, down the back. To save roll up, he used to beat us. Two. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Wow. Wow. Two. Wow. Down. Scott goes behind roll. His tight trucks. Come on. No. He, he almost stole, stole one. the victory. And put his name in the final round. Hands. He wants to leave champion. Wow. He's beside himself here. I think he's starting to wonder what's he got to do to put GPA away tonight. Oh, closed right hand. He's done it before. GPA asking for more. Yeah, just add, telling DDS to bring Shoves him off. Wow. You know, such a mild-mannered, fun-loving guy, and he's, he's serious as all hell tonight. But he's also taking a serious beating. He won't stay down. You can't question the intelligence of GPA. That's that fire of a champion My because God. he is a champion. Just bring in the in wrestling and in life. Wow, fans showing their support and respect. Charges, backsplash, miss. Nobody home that time. Digging deep, puts him up on that top rope. Could be going for that iconoclasm right now. Backs him down at the Could iconoclasm. This be it? Enough Two. Two and three, no! Oh. And a shoulder up just before the three count. GPA still finding it within himself to kick out. That huge GPA, GPA fan base. He, he has no idea what he's going to have to do. Every time he sets up for that delicious driver, GPA counters. He has him so well Yeah, scouted. he has an answer for every question. DDS He's taking a little too much time up there. To the this may not pay off. Not something we usually see out of him. And he oh, gets caught, awesome. crotched on that top rope. High risk did not yield high reward for him right now. And the highest reward being that title at the end of the night. Oh, oh, oh my, he's feeling that. Using some of Danny Scott's own tactics against him, kicking that, that pain right through the center of his body, all the way up to the brain. I'm sure he doesn't even know where he's at right now. GPA could be looking to finish this one. GPA climbing up to the second rope. They're jockeying for position. My DDS gosh, what hooks him. Here? Oh man, this could be sick right here. I, I, I don't know what either of these men could wow. have in mind, but GPA wow. is destroying the ribs of DDS. He's just pounding on him, taking all that frustration out on him. Could be looking hanging for that on, superplex. Trying to keep his balance. From the outside in! Superplex! Huge! Oh, no, he got the small back in! DDS picks up the win! Oh my Three god! And DDS! And after the superplex, GPA landed high on his neck and shoulders, and DDS found a cover, and that was it! I'm in shock. My god, DDS! is moving on to the finals. He could really the do it. Wrestling Championship. He could do it tonight.